Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use macro programming in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Topic is how to use macro programming in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. I think this topic is quite interesting. Let me see it right now. So, I'm going to open Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 and then go to file tab where we can able to see plenty of options so under help you select the option options and this is a powerpoint option window where we can able to see general proofing save language advanced customized student quick access toolbar add-ins and trusted center so you just click customize ribbon and main tab you can able to see the developer tag you just click it and press ok so now the developer tab is visible once again I repeat go to file go to options go to customize ribbon and here you can able to see developers you just click it and press ok now you can able to see your developer tag and then go to macro security and ensure that enable all macros is enabled and you just click this and press ok and after doing this go to macros and let us say create a simple macro sample and press create so this is nothing but a procedure called as a sub and n sub and within this you want to write your code so I'm going to use a simple message box to display a message stating that the message is hi welcome to fisherman twining institute and after doing the desired changes you want to run this macro program how to run this macro program so the shortcut is f5 or else you can able to see the symbol so run sub or user form f5 you just click it so now you can able to see your message right here hi welcome to your fisherman training institute okay you did it so my next question is how to bring the macro program in your group in the tab in the ribbon it's very simple again go to file and go to options and in option go to customize ribbon and here choose commands from you just click it and select macros you want to select macros and here presentation one sample so if you want to add this you want to create a new group and then rename it let us say macro and use some icon and under this you add it and if you want to rename you can rename it msg box and use some icon press ok and ok so where you can able to see your macro right here you just click it now your macro is running and this is very simple and basic macro program I think you may enjoy this video very much thanks for watching this video thank you